In this portion of the Pharmacy Pearls Opioid Overdose Education video series, we're looking at how to respond to an opioid overdose. Previously, we stressed the importance of calling 911 for help. Now we'll focus on performing rescue breathing. For a person who is not breathing, rescue breathing is an important step in preventing an overdose death. When someone has stopped breathing and is unresponsive, Rescue breathing should be done as soon as possible because it is the quickest way to get oxygen into the body. Steps for rescue breathing are Place the person on his or her back and pinch their nose. Tilt the chin up to open the airway. Check to see if there is anything in the mouth blocking the airway. If so, remove it. Give two slow breaths, blowing enough air into the lungs to make the chest rise. Turn your head after each breath to ensure that the chest is rising and falling. If it doesn't work, tilt the victim's head back more. Breathe again every 5 seconds. When performing rescue breathing, you can use a CPR mask or mouth barrier containing a one-way filter valve to protect yourself from the victim's potentially infectious bodily substances such as vomit or blood. Finally. Rescue breathing should be continued until the person can breathe for themselves or until help arrives. Thanks for watching. Please stay tuned for the next edition of the Pharmacy Pearls Opioid Overdose Education video series where we'll review the use of naloxone when responding to an opioid overdose. If you enjoyed this video, please show your support for Pharmacy Pearls by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Take care.